Hello, my name is Mark Jones and I am the inventor of a new tool that I'm currently selling. It's called the Battery Setter. And today I'd like to do a demonstration video for you uh, showing you how this tool can reset the Quick Set Smart Key Cylinder Design and the Schlage Secure Key Cylinder Design when you have no working keys. And that is uh, the problem that you run into sometimes when you go to a house and the customer has lost their keys. You will need to first get the cylinders out of the locks. They must be in your hand. And I do recommend that you lubricate with WD-40 and then insert the cylinders into a vise. Uh, this will make the reset procedure much easier for you. The quick set design is distinguished by this slit in the face of the cylinder plug. Uh, you can see it where my thumb is at. When you see that, you know that this is smart key and not the pin tumblers that we're so used to. And on the Schlage product, you can see the top of the plug there, there is a uh, plus symbol. Uh, that plus distinguishes it from the pin tumbler designs of the past. So when you see those uh, cylinder attributes, you know what you're working with and you know you will be unable to reset, or I should say repin the lock with traditional pin tumbler technology. So let's go with, uh, we're going to reset first using the tool, uh, the quick set design. Uh, you're going to want to use the proper end for the lock that you're actually working on. Um, the quick set end is the one with the barb, and the barb is used to depress the uh, change slide through the face of the, of the plug here. Um, the first step to resetting the quick set design is to simply insert the tool down into the five access ports and push down all the slides simultaneously. Now they're spring loaded and when you press down you want to make sure that you hold pressure against the tool so that it stays firmly in contact with the shell. At that point you want to take a key that you've already cut. Let me move this over a little bit for you. You want to insert the tip of the key and you could use a screwdriver or anything for that matter. And when you kind of rock back and forth, you'll feel it rotate out of the, the indent that it's been in. And it will rotate either left or right 90 degrees. And once over 90 degrees, you can take the tip of the reset tool and depress the chain shuttle, which is uh, the component inside the lock that allows the lock to relearn a new set of cuts. Okay, once that's depressed, you can insert the key you want to work, rotate back, and remove the key. And at that point, the lock is reset, and it's that simple. So that is the quick set design. Now let's uh, reset the Schlage secure key design. Now Schlage's a little different in that you're going to need two keys. You're going to need an SC1 that is uncut. And you're also going to need a blue reset key, which is a um, key that's now available through most distributors. Uh, they run about 40 cent, I believe. Um, if you can't get one through a distributor for whatever reason, Lowe's and Home Depot both sell these keys. Um, unfortunately, though, they sell them one at a time, and I believe they're like a dollar and a half. So you may want to go ahead and stock up on a few of these uh, through your distributor. Okay, so to reset the the secure key design, you're going to use the other end of the tool, which is the one without the barb protruding off the end of it. And you're going to start by inserting the uh, uncut SC1, which effectively what you're doing here is just depressing all of the slides. Then you take the tool and insert it into the access ports. And you can see it's not touching anything there, it's just sitting in there. Firmly press it against the shell and then pulls the SC1 out. Now again, just like with the quick set, you want to maintain that pressure against the shell so that those tines that are in the access ports stay perfectly aligned and you do not want to release that. So keep that firmly against the shell, then take the tip of the key and rotate the plug over to the reset position. You're then going to take a blue reset key that you have cut to the desired cuts you want and insert that key, rotate it back to the right, remove the key and you are finished. 
and that point the lock should work on a regular SC1 cut to the same cuts as the blue key so that's the tool in action um, there are a couple of things I'd like to say about the Schlage product one is it's very uh, problematic in the field we're seeing a lot of failures I've personally come across three or four where they just simply failed they just there was no reason whatsoever for the failure they're brand new cylinders um, I think for this reason you probably won't see these cylinders very long but there are quite a few out there Schleg was uh, successful in selling probably hundreds of thousands of these things I'm not sure how many they sold but there's a lot of them out there now the tool will reset that lock provided it's in good operating condition it's not broken and they do uh, they do seem to be having a lot of problems the other thing is uh, I want to discuss in this video is that when you go to reset a Schlage, lubricate this lock very well because it is relying on springs inside the lock to go to reset position. Uh, when we rotate this cylinder over to the 11 o'clock position and it springs, you hear a distinct click. Um, that's the mechanism going to reset position. Sometimes when you rotate the reset position, you won't hear the click, and that's because the springs aren't quite strong enough to make it pop over. And in that situation, you'll notice that when you go to put the blue reset key in in the reset position, it won't slide in. If you come across that situation, just take the cylinder and wrap it a couple of times on its side, and you will see that it, the blue key slides right in at that point. So that's, uh, that's all I really have to show you today. Um, again, it's called the Better Resetter. And the Better Resetter is available at my website, betterresetter.com. And if you have any questions, feel free to call me. My number is, uh, again, right here, 919-417-5625. Thanks for watching.